All right, everyone, it is Zeke, and welcome back to another Roblox video. So today we are playing Sword Burst 2, and I am starting a new series on a new Roblox series called Road to Level 100. Currently, I'm level 86 in this game, and I'm going to be farming until I get to level 100. Typically, uh, the plan is to um, farm one level every day until I get to level 100. As you can see right here, I am level 86 right now, and I'm going to be playing until I get to level 80 uh, until uh, level 100 so that's the plan let me just turn on my mouse lock real quick shift lock whatever you want to call it so typically um farming farming one level at this high of a level it takes usually roughly an hour for me to do it because each enemy on level seven or on floor seven gives roughly around 100 uh, xp each and so um, the reason I'm farming on floor uh, 7 is just because um, the enemies are easy to defeat and it gives a good amount of XP. I don't want to be farming on a floor where I'm constantly losing health and I have to wait and then I have to and then go back, uh, hit the enemy and then wait again and then go back. Yeah, so I don't want to constantly do that. I want to be on a floor where I can, um, where I don't struggle a lot on the floor. I can just instantly beat the enemies and it gives a good amount of XP. And currently level 7 is that floor for me. Once I hit level 90, I'm probably going to move on to level uh, or the floor 8. Because um, at level 90, I can get a better uh, better um, armor and better sword. Currently my sword is doing um, 1313 damage. I'm not too sure about what the uncommon sword at level 80. I think it was 88. I have to check back in on the wiki on that one. So yeah, this is, this is what the Roblox uh, episode is going to be on today. Just me farming up on this floor until I get to level 87. It's going to take roughly maybe about, depending on what the conditions are and how hard it is for me to farm, uh, depending on how many people are in the boss room, and if any of them are PKers, that will affect on how long it will take for me to grind, to grind the, to the uh, XP. But I'm going to estimate roughly maybe 45 minutes to get to get uh, to level up maybe if I if I'm if I'm farming very well then maybe um, 30 minutes but I don't know I'm gonna be taking things really slowly so and some parts I might speed up like I'm probably gonna speed up the dungeon um, to go um, I'm probably gonna speed up the dungeons so you guys don't have to watch too much of the dungeon but for this part right here where I'm heading towards the dungeon I'm not gonna speed it up uh, but since the dungeon is um, just repeated, a lot of repeated stuff, um, then it um, doesn't really matter too much. The one, I think the dungeon is the place where enemies start to actually hurt me. Uh, these clams are actually do a bit of damage. The shrooms are fine. I can take on shrooms. I can take on a group of shrooms. Um, thing is, um, the more people there are to help me out, the easier it is going to be farming. As long as I get enough hits on the enemies, everything is going to be fine. As long as I need to get these chests, I don't think they give any XP. I think all they give is just well. Uh, so yeah, that's currently that's the plan right now. Uh, I currently have two million eight hundred ninety-one thousand uh, vels. I don't know. Um, I am planning to get a Durendal, which is the legendary drop from the Smash Room, which is the boss of Floor Seven. And um, I heard it's going for a very good price of, or a very high price of um, 10 million. For me, that's a high price. For, for most players, getting 10 million is very easy. But for me, it's very challenging because I don't have any uh, rare weapons or to gain from to gain from it. So yeah, so, so that's the thing. Okay. So these enemies are very easy. To um, defeat and it and they don't take up too much HP. I don't usually use the shield until I fight the smash room because the smash room, if I let, if I, if I don't use the shield or if I don't block, um, it will start taking out a lot of my health and that's not what I want. And I'm gonna die and, and then I'm gonna have to venture back to the boss room. There was a shortcut to get to the boss room, well, the, the, but it was, but you don't defeat a lot of enemies, you don't gain a lot of XP, and they patch the route. So you have to go the manual name, the manual way. So you have to um, take this route, and yeah. So um, usually when I'm farming, I I head to the boss room because that's where enemies give the most uh, XP. 
And on and basically, I'm using the route. I'm using a um, thing called killing everything that uh, that gets in my way. So yeah, it's just that's just something I'm, I I do. And it doesn't take too long to defeat each enemy. Maybe like uh, let's see here: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Around fifteen. I found fifteen to sixteen hits on the enemy. Um, but after after you get a, um, a couple hits on there, the screen starts. You start getting this um, cinematic effect where you get more hits in, and that's good. Okay, there we go. That's better because you get to have more hits. Your attack speed goes up, and that gains more hits on the enemies. So this cinematic effect, I really like it. It's very um, it benefits me. Iguanas, uh, the iguanas are pretty tough. They they actually take out a bit, a bit of health around me. I'm sorry, I'm getting um, a lot of uh, Vel too. Um, the drops that I, I have received a lot of drops from the boss. I did receive a um, a one the the fire sword. Uh, I forgot what it was called, but it's the but it was the um, the flame sword um, that that came from the boss. And so. Um, also, yesterday I was able to gain this, which is the um, Venom Actor. Okay, so yeah, that's what I got from the boss yesterday. It was unfortunately it was not a Durendal, so we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to keep looking for that. I need a Durendal because I want to be able to get a lot of Vel so I can trade and get um, um, equipment for later. Currently, my equipment is my sword is rare, but my um, my armor is uncommon. So you go over here. I have a I have a rare shield. I have a rare headgear. I have a rare sword. But my um my ah, I'm being surrounded. But my um my armor is uncommon. These guys are gonna push me off. That's really terrible. And I'm starting to lose a lot of health. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I guess I'll defeat this thing. Okay. That was a lot of enemies. You can see, like they consumed a bunch of my health over here. I'm at 44%. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's right. I was gonna speed up the dungeon, so here we go. It's time to speed it up. And we made it to the boss room so that took a while defeating all these enemies and these guys are much stronger than I am so if they were if they wanted to uh, PK me they could but I don't think they want to because I'm just here getting XP like they are unless they're already level 100 but I doubt they are because I don't I don't know when the update for level 100 was um, released I just uh, I just started yesterday um so currently like i'm starting late because um if i were to start on sunday then i would have easily gained um would have easily uh gained level 100 at the end of the break that was my plan since i have two weeks which is 14 days and i have 15 levels to gain i would have um would i would have been able to um 
gain to level i would have been able to reach level 100 by the end of the break but since i started two days late I was, i'm only going to reach level 98 by the end of the break so that's unfortunate but uh, if i do find a free day i will reach level 100 on that day um i i have been dedicated to farming a lot uh, i mean i did get to level 85 um the floor 9 update like um it was it was there for like months uh, floor 10 wasn't added for for a bunch for like a long time it's um so like everyone was just waiting for the floor 10 update it just wasn't coming like i would always check back to sword burst but it just wouldn't be there the only update would it would just stay at the um thing um i thought that um abstract alex the uh creator or the main uh, the main scripter for um for sword burst 2 i thought he would uh oh shoot here's the smash room but uh yeah i thought he would only make it up to like 90 or 95 but no he boosted it way up to level 100 which is the max uh cap right now and um i mean it's understandable because um the update took so, took so long to um get here so it's understandable why he put the level cap so high because now he's going to have to work on floor 11 which might take much longer than um floor 10. floor 10 is difficult right now currently i went on there it took me a while to actually defeat the first basic enemy on that floor all right so um yeah um if i reach level 100 i might explore that floor make a video on it i'm not too sure i'm probably not gonna make a like um a video on every level because some days i want to record on honka impact but uh so today i'm going to be recording this one uh, tomorrow i'm i'm going to be probably playing honka impact and then um the and then um on friday on friday i should be recording another episode of this of um my road to level 100 but i will be playing um i will be playing it offline so i won't so um on so i'll be gaining level um 87 today you'll see me at level 88 on friday so we're currently almost halfway towards our goal. We're almost, we need uh, 11,200 and something. Well, we'll just say 11,200. So we haven't received a single drop yet. Like currently we were just, we're just um, fighting all these, but we haven't received a single drop. I want to receive a Durendal during this video, but I don't think that's possible because the Durendal is, I believe it is a 0.1 chance of getting it or a 0.02 I'm not too sure uh, I have to check up on the uh, on the drop rate but um, yeah it's, kinda, it's very difficult so okay we're almost halfway towards our goal oh there's this map room. I put up my shield and then fight this map room. Let me see how much the smash room gives me. Alright, am I just soloing this thing? Or is he- okay, he's helping me out. I just- I don't even know what I'm hitting. Alright, let me just hit this turtles and get some, um, XP out of it. Okay, my shield's running out and the smash room is beating me up currently. Like, really beating me- okay, so... It gave me about- I think that was 400, uh, XP. So that's a pretty good amount. Uh, and then these guys probably give me somewhere from 100 to 200 XP each. Or I think just 100. Yeah. I mean, expectations. Um, when you're higher level, you should be farming on higher level floors. But that's not actually the, the that's not actually true because um, I was struggling. I'm level 86, so that means um, I should be on like floor eight or something. But that's not exactly true. I could be on floor eight. I could defeat the enemies. But it takes so long to defeat them because I'm not, because my equipment's not capable of handling um, those types of enemies um, effectively. And if I were to go on floor nine, that would be a complete mess. So um, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be good. Some people are like spiking out here. Well, I mean that's understandable. But yeah, um, it's better to farm on lower floor, but not so low that you're not getting any XP out of it. As you can see, like we're already halfway, we're already halfway here. Um, this is where I typically farm. I used to farm on floor four uh, when I was level 60, and on level se and level 70, I went to floor five. 
and then level 85 now I'm coming to um, floor 7 and once I reach level 90 I'm probably gonna go up to the uh, blooming plateau which is floor um, which is, uh, oh, which is uh, floor 8 and then once I reach level 100 I might start farming on floor 9 um, ooh, I got, we got a drop we got a gloom shroom blade um, but yeah that's that's the plan back then I used to um, I used to categorize it by level so um, um, 10 in, until I reached level 20 until like the first number like the the, the first digit over here this first digit um, when that first digit uh, that means that's what the floor I'm supposed to be on so if I was level 10 I should be on floor 1 if I'm level 20 I should be on floor 2 flo uh, level 30 floor 3 and etc that's what I categorize that but um, and if I were to follow that I should be on floor 8 right now but um, I, but I just found that farming down here is just easier. They it gives about almost the same amount of XP, but um, the, the the level of difficulty down here is just so much easier. You're getting about the same amount of XP uh, for an easier battle, and that's that's uh, I like that's what I like simplicity. It's just the simplicity that comes with it. So we're current. Okay. Anyways, um, currently we are. Uh, let's see. So we'll just call that fourteen thousand. For about eight more thousand, we just we need eight thousand more. So we're almost there. We're almost there. Um, I might start speeding up soon, but I'm not too sure. I don't know if I want to. Um, I don't know if I want to record this entire thing because this, if I record it, if I record everything um, without speeding it up, it might take a while. So eventually, I might start um, speeding things up. Oh, we got a dawn breaker from that. Nice, okay. Um, hopefully I get another um, a drop from... I want another drop from the boss. Durendal. Well, like that one, like what she's wielding right now. She's wielding a Durendal. That's what... Um, I don't know what he's wielding though. What is he wielding? He's, he's wielding something. He's dual wielding. Um, I think those are like the swords from floor... Um, floor 9 or floor, or floor 10. I've never seen those, those swords before. I get. I guess these guys are just f farming up too because, um, judging from their uh, equipment, they're not level 100 yet. I've seen like um, apparently I think. Uh, oh, she's using a different type of rapier. Um, I think Requiem is probably the most overused legendary. Everywhere I go, I, I always seem to find someone with a Requiem. Like uh, so many people have Requiems. Uh, Requiem is is the first legendary uh, rapier. It's uh you get it from um, I believe you get it from Mortis, uh, the boss on floor nine. So, but I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to get confirmation on that by the wiki. But yeah, the legendary that I want is probably Oblivion. We the Oblivion is the I it's it's um the second legendary. Uh, katana under the Ornamir. Okay, we didn't get any drop from that. The Ornamir is probably the first legendary katana that was released. Um, I yesterday I saw someone with an Ornamir. I have not seen anyone with an Oblivion yet, but I have seen pictures on the wiki of what the Oblivion looks like. It's it's um it's the wiki said it was the longest reaching sword. It's the longest reaching weapon. Cause that, cause the sword is super thin, but it's super long in length. It reaches further than a rapier does, so that's good to know. Like I, cause usually the rapier is the um, is the longest reaching weapon of the uh, of in the game, but uh, Oblivion just has a long reach. I'm not sure if any other weapon currently has a longer reach than the um, Oblivion, but we're gonna I'm gonna have to get confirmation on that. We're almost there. We are. We just need about. Um, six six thousand more. Okay. Um, after the next smash room, I'll speed things up a bit here. I love doing commentary, but you know sometimes commentary can only go so much, and it gets boring after a while. So um, yeah. Um, after the next smash room boss battle, uh, I'm going to speed things up. And uh, if I do get a drop, then I'll slow the video down and commentate about it a little bit, and then I'll um, speed it up again. If that, but that's only if I get a, like a, a Durendal. Uh, if it's just a regular drop, then I'm not going to commentate on that. 
because regular drops, nothing special about it. Only a Durendal though, which we I don't think we're going to be able to get in this video. We're almost done anyway. So let me see, whenever that next smash room is going to, whoa, 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 whoa. everything is just going, every just, everything is just, okay, I'm just getting like completely destroyed over here. Okay. Gloom room. Alright, whenever that next smash room wants to spawn in, I'm ready. Oh, there it is. Just as I called it. Perfect timing. Okay, let me just shield up and start whacking at this thing. I'm thinking that this uh, this girl is probably a higher level than I am. I'm not sure what rapier that is, but it looks to be a high level rapier. I've seen that rapier somewhere on the wiki before, but I'm not sure where it comes from. Okay, now I'm going to start speeding things up. Alright, so we made it to level 87. We have leveled up, so typically this would be the end of the video, but I do want to fight the Smash Room just one more time. I just want to fight this Smash I just want to, like, fight the Smash Room just in case I get a Durendo out of it. You never know. And, but, um, the, the, um, the Katana drop from the Smash Room was, is called the Scarlet Katana. That was the name of it. Uh, I looked at the chat and they just, um, they were talking about the Scarlet, how much it was worth. It's worth 500,000. Um, I had two of them. I could have gotten a million out of that, but no, fortunately I couldn't. All right, looks like we didn't get any drops from this, so that's all right. That's it. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, maybe leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.